As we all know the season is festivity, yuletide, you know, partying here and there, we should also understand the fact that this season also introduces the Amatan season. The Amatan season is characterized with um, cold, cough, you know, um, dryness of the weather, wind, and is as here and there. But you should know that aside that, there are physical things that we experience during this time, and that is dry skin, dry throat, winds, you know, um, chapped lips and dry lips and more of that is what we experience during this period. This season is actually common in the West African region, and it is something that has been experienced from um, late November through January. And in some places, some region, it tends to extend to mid-March. So aside that, there are some health conditions that come along with this season due to the dryness, you know, the haziness in the weather. And you should be very careful what you do, where you go to, and how you relate during this period. But you should not fear much because I am making is here. You only sexually want to play just taking you through lifestyle tips, you know, all the one at that. And that is why I'm here for you today to talk about seven essential health tips you should take note of during this Amatan season. You're welcome to visit me at online TV if you have to subscribe to that right now. And you should make sure that you follow this video to the last so you can get every tip of which I've brought today, okay? As Elias said, we're talking about seven essential health tips to take note of during this Amatan season to get you through. The first is that you should make sure that you cover your mouth and your nose during this period. Your nose and your mouth should be covered at all times. This is because whenever you go out there, the uh, weather is very dry and everything is just dusty. We tend to feel a lot of dust coming here and there. So the dusty particles should not get into your mouth, not should it get into your nose. So it wouldn't cause some under lining health condition so to avoid that go out with face mask you know cover your nose cover your mouth to prevent you from having cold cough and dry um, cough in particular and the next thing is that you should make sure you stay hydrated anything you want to do during this season you should make sure you take a lot of water if you've been taking five cups of um, water before you should increase this to 20 <laughs> exactly you should take more than enough water because you need to be hydrated at all time this um, season naturally gives you some dryness so you should always make sure you don't allow the dryness to get to your um, your system so much you make sure you have water in your system at all time so getting a bottle of water and at all time whenever you're going out or even in the house is something that can actually do the trick and you are hydrated during the season and amazon got nothing on you another thing is that you should eat healthy food very very important you know the immune system tends to get um, weak at a point in time and this season in itself brings about dryness and you just want to eat all the even if the cough is about to come or the cold is about to come but you've eaten all the and your immune system can fight all of these diseases then you're good to go during the um, season so you should eat fruity foods fruits and vegetables will actually do the trick fruits because they tend to have a lot of water in it like um fruits like watermelon like pineapple like um golden melon and um, so on and so forth you should make sure you add it to your menu and vegetables too that are rich in vitamins and all of these vitamins will help your body will help your immune system aid your digestion as well as keep you healthy at all time so when you have this andy you're good to go during the summertime season and the next thing you should do is that you should wear appropriate clothes. I mean, wear real outfits. It's enough that you want to go out and you are now putting on different kind of outfits that will not even cover you up. You shouldn't try that. And don't use me as an example because me, I'm in the studio, okay? <laughs> so you should wear something that covers up properly. You can even introduce gloves, socks, and you should wear shoes that would cover up your legs properly, you know, that can help you and avoid all the dust and um, kind of cold. This is because of the cold in particular and make sure that when you're wearing clothes wear clothes that can trap in the heat not the one that will emit it to the environment the one that can keep you warm even if you're fighting the cold uh -huh. so make sure you're wearing the appropriate clothes during the season next is that you should moisturize your skin and this is particularly for the men in the house you see these ones and they will tell you i don't like to cream i don't even 
what's the time? Time to cream. Don't cream. That's when you now be looking like masquerade that someone that fought with masquerade that now should be inside gotta and the whole of your body will now be very white, looking like Ojuju Calabar. <laughs> Please, oh, I beg you, you don't want to disgrace your future and you don't want to disgrace your kids. Men out there, even women, please make sure that you're creaming, you moisturize your skin properly. And um, let me introduce you to this. It's normal that your, your particular cream you're making use of right now does not have enough moisturizer in it. Then you should make use of olive oil. You know, olive oil has high content of fatty acid in it. So when you make use of it, it tends to keep your skin glowing at all times. So it wouldn't um, let it have those rough patches and fine lines. So it's better you make use of olive oil. You can also use shea butter. Shea butter is actually very good. It keeps your skin, it has an excellent way of keeping your skin moisturized all through the day. And it even avoids the dust from getting to your skin. So when you've cleaned up with um, shea butter or even olive Boy, then you are good to go so you'll not be looking like a juju calaba <laughs> and the whole of your body will now be very white you know you should have been seeing people like that of recent another thing is that you should add honey and lemon to water you know naturally honey helps to cure all kind of um, throat related issues like sore throat like um, dryness in the throat and all of that so you should add honey and lemon to your water so you should drink it it helps soothe your your throat and you're good to go you shouldn't you wouldn't be having cracked um throat you wouldn't have be having dry throat and dry cough and you should get medical help when necessary and this actually narrows down to people that tend to involve themselves in kind of um, harmful activities so if you have any cords make sure you get medical attention in time because this is in a hey, hey if you should fall down or your legs you eat something you will understand it will pain you into your brain you know that kind of sharp pain sharp pain that's what you will feel and wounds don't get healed in time during this season so you should make sure when you have any wound when you have a cut you should visit a medical practitioner or get medical attention in due time and i hope with all of those that i've said we will be having an amazing amatan season keep yourself amatanized <laughs> if there's any word like that so you should fight amatan as amatan is coming to you okay you get it now thank you very much for joining me today i remember your me kundi only says she mommy of lagos you know right on this platform Form. If you get to subscribe to the channel, do that right now and follow me on social media platform so you can always get all the tips from Ayomiko. Bye!